There are a couple things you need to keep in mind when you're dealing with your lawn after the winter. If you have a few weeds, you're going to treat your lawn differently than if you have a lot of weeds. The other thing is you might want to apply a fertilizer in the spring. Of course, I always recommend fertilizing in the fall. It's one of the best time periods because it builds up that root system to prevent soil erosion. You might use a pre-emergent weed control to prevent weeds from germinating in the lawn. At the same time, these products, and they might say controls weeds for six months, three months, four months, they probably kill existing weeds in your lawn, then they prevent weeds from germinating. It's important to remember, they'll also prevent your grass seed from germinating. So you need to use those products and seeding your lawn, you know, months apart. Lots of things compete with a healthy lawn. One of those is right beside me. It is a huge maple tree. Not only that, it is a silver maple tree, which is well known to take all the moisture out of the ground. The roots of silver maple trees grow right along the surface and they can be three to four inches wide. They even lift up concrete. So your lawn is competing for that very little bit amount of water. What happens after that is the lawn may die out in areas and weeds come in. Weeds like chickweed and Bermuda grass. So then you have to go in and control those weeds. This is the mouse-eared or small-leaved chickweed. And if you look carefully, you'll see a lot of weeds right next to this large tree root from this maple tree. So not a lot of things will grow. You know, what do you do? One thing you can do is come in with a little topsoil or top dress it and reseed it so this does not hit your lawn mower. The other thing that you need to really keep in mind is always try to mow your lawn at least three and I really recommend four inches tall. If you mow your lawn tall, the tall blades of grass will really choke out a lot of weeds. You can buy a product like Easy Seed that's already mixed with organic matter. And that means, you know, normally you just stand, but when you look down closely, you have a couple bare spots. You can just go like this. It's got a material that holds moisture plus the seed together. You're set, you're done, irrigate it, it'll germinate. But if you've got large areas that really are empty, you might just need to go out and get a seed uh, by itself and then just seed either by hand or with a seeder. But one thing we have found that really helps in the germination process is to top dress with some type of organic matter. There's so many different types. And here is one that is nice and fine and it's crumbled. It's like compost and it does have some nutrients in it. And you would just come in, even with the spreader, and top dress on top of the seed. And then your lawn is ready to be irrigated and just in maybe anywhere from four to 10 weeks, you will have a nice, brand new germinating lawn. For new lawns, it is important to consider using what we call a starter fertilizer. That is designed specifically for a lawn that you've just seeded. And you can also use later, or for an existing lawn, organic fertilizers. This fertilizer system, you just drop the bag in, it's got a guard so fertilizers not get on your walkways, and it covers a five foot area. It's already set. All you do is just walk like this. Then you walk back the other way. Do not crisscross your lawn back and forth. Then you'll be applying too much fertilizer. But it's really just that easy. I'm Mark Viette. Join me next time In the Garden. For more garden tips, go to inthegardenradio.com.